this is Riffworks. This is uh, seriously one of the most indispensable pieces of hardware that I have of, of software. This is it's indispensable equipment. Um, I'm just going to kind of take you through it really quickly so you know what you're looking at. And once you understand what you're looking at, you're going to understand why this is indispensable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open one of my songs. Okay, we're going to go right here to this. So. What you're looking at right now, this is one of my tunes. This is called Core Core. Um, I wrote this for the Marine Corps. Um, and actually, uh, when Riffworks had Riff World, this actually made uh, one of the songs of the, of the week. Um, they put this up on the front page of Riff World, which blew my mind. I actually took a screen capture because I, I was like, wow. So, but let me explain what this is so great about this. Okay, now what you're looking at is you're looking at Riff 1, Riff 2, Riff 2, 1, Riff 4, Riff 4, 1, Riff 5. So what I did was I just chose a drummer and plugged my guitar in, clicked play on the drummer, kind of riffed around for a couple of seconds, and then you click that button right there and it starts recording. And that's what I did. Now what this does automatically is, let's go to Riff 1. <clears throat> this is basic riff right there. So we're going to go all the way back to the beginning, play Riff 1. Okay, now you see I'm on Riff 2 now. Riff 1 is just basic guitar, intro, just a series of uh, 16th notes, 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4 and that's it. Now we get to Riff 2. Now the way this works is when I press record, it will record this take right here. Now I can delete a take really easy. You just click that button, it's gone. So what it'll do is it records through here. You got 8 bars here. This is set by your drummer. You choose your drummer and then you just start playing. Once it gets to the end of 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, it starts, it adds in this layer, take 4. That actually would have, take 2 is actually the one that I kept. I deleted take 1 because I think I made a mistake on it. And then it got to the end, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I recorded take 4. So let me just play the one riff, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So this would have been take 1. Going into measure eight right now, and it'll go to take two, which is this one right here. So I deleted take one. Catchy, isn't it? Then it went into take three, which I ended up deleting. And I think what I did here was I just hit duplicate, and it recreated track two as track four. And then what I did was I just Panned one to the left, one to the right. And this is what a couple of people refer to this as rainbow panning, where you've got a little variety, you know, down here all the way hard left for one guitar and right in the middle for another guitar. And some people are like, okay, everything should be hard left, hard right, or center. And I'm eventually I'm gonna try that. I just I just haven't done that yet. So so you see how this works. It will just keep recording. Let me go on to another one. It's got more. So you can see I've got eight or four takes here takes two, four, six, and nine. So obviously, I did a track five, it didn't work out, I deleted it. I did a tag six. Now, it will just keep going and going and going. You can get up to, I think it is 16 takes per uh, riff. So each one's an eight bar measure all the way through. So riff four, riff four one, riff five, lead one, lead two, lead three, lead four. This is my harmony lead over the breakdown. It does this. In, you know, if you've got more parts, you can scroll all the way down and just see how many different riffs I wrote into this song. So the whole song starts like this.
and as you can see right away you're starting to think I gotta get these notes within eight measures within the one bar so here we are take six and nine are the harmony lead there it's actually two leads I just duplicated them and if you just want to hear the lead that's a lead rhythm rhythm Now when you're building a lead, okay, you, once you get to the fifth measure here, you gotta start paying attention, you know, your fifth bar there. Three, four. See how when I get to start getting close to eight, seven, you know, bar seven, I gotta get that within the measure, I gotta get that, start speeding up there. Go. It's gotta be done there. So you wanna be done by the three one, two, three of eight. Because you're basically that's it. So think of it this way when you're structuring a lead, you can be slow during one through four, start speeding it up a little bit, five and six, pour on the speed, seven and eight. So I'm gonna That's my center guitar. That's my right guitar. There's the whole thing. Oh, I can actually move my cursor here. And I'll get past right there. So here's my climbs. Okay, watch down here. Okay, let's go to this one. We're just going to play this one so you can hear it. I want to go as... Okay, that's just the harmony guitar. So now you can see how I'm structuring this. Now I'm going to kick in the, the main lead. Nothing here yet. Okay, now let's hear it with the rhythm in it. So we would drag this right to there. And... Now, if you watch these, you'll see these are not duplicated takes. It's basically just that riff one, and then when I got to the when it hit the eight three, I knew okay, it's time to go into the next one. So that was just one live take. Now you kind of see what I'm working with here, why this is so important. Now for every riff that I've got here, like lead two, I can type something in there and make notes to myself. On some of them, like when I did my uh, when I did my album, I had copious notes down here saying this is this, this is this, this is this. And so what I did is I locked these layers, which you can do. You can lock a layer. And so what I've done is I've locked these layers so they can't be adjusted. And so, like, we get to the climbs here. Okay, so now you can kind of see how I wrote this. Now that we've talked about that, let's go ahead and go to... No, I don't want to say any changes. We're just going to go ahead and look at a basic... Here it is as you start a new song, and now I'm going to explain what the hardware is. Now that you've seen what it does, now you can see what it is. And Riffworks to me is amazing. I have written so much music using this one program. And uh, so basically you just hit new, go here, choose a drummer. 
So I've got a lot of drummers. I have, uh, back around 2013 when I first got Riffworks, believe it or not, someone gave it to me. They gave me uh, Riffworks, and they gave me a Line 6 guitar port. It came with Riffworks. Um, it came with the Riffworks demo, which was just a four-track. You can get this for free. This is just the four-track. Is If all you're going to make is just a four-track, and that's all you're adding to it is just four tracks, then you can use Riffworks completely for free. But I went ahead and paid for Riffworks Standard instead of Riffworks Basic, and it was $50, and it was amazing. It was amazing. Now, I wish that this was still an option. You can Riffcast this. In other words, you could have broadcast this to Riff World and invited other musicians on Riff World to come in and jam along with it. I did that once, but I forgot to when I was paying the... Uh, you buy Riffworks, you get a... You'd have a free month of Riff, Riff World, and so that way you could get other musicians to jam in. And I never, I never, by the, it was like day 32, I remembered, oh yeah, I gotta mix this down, and then my membership expired. So I couldn't mix that one song down, so it's lost forever, unfortunately. But some guys came in, and I had one guy do a Jimi Hendrix imitation over the music, and I just come up with a basic rhythm, just whatever you wanna add, whatever, take it where you want it. And people took it in some unusual directions, it was great. So, when we're picking a drummer. Okay, so let's go to here. I can choose. Let's try Head Trip. This one's pretty good. But it's supposed to be 145 beats. Now, hear how the simple sounds kind of icky. Let's bring me bring it down and listen to... Hear how the cymbal kind of wavers? That's the cymbal moving back and forth in the air. At this speed, it sound, it have yeah, dropouts but put it up at the speed it's supposed to be at. Listen for the crash. Perfect. That's one of the first problems people would buy this and they'd be like, I, I can't believe I wasted the money on this. The symbol sounds terrible. That's because you got to go here to tempo and match it to around here. There you can go. Hear how the drummer's changing. So, if you create a new riff each time with a different setting on the intensity, your drums build in intensity. Something to keep in mind. So, we can get a break. the change. This should be telling you, hey, I want this thing. So I want it mostly on the toms right now. So I'm going to crank the intensity down. So what I'm, you know, what I'm thinking there is I'm listening to this, I'm automatically composing music in my head. I haven't even plugged my guitar in, and you can already hear how I'm starting to rhythmically come compose something new right there. Okay, so let's go. So I have all these drummers. These are all drummers. Drum core, drummer heads. Tell me you can't do something awesome with that. Okay, we just entered groove territory right there. Match up with the snare drum and learn to synchronize what you're saying, what you're playing, what you're doing. So you can see right off you're composing music just even listening to this. I don't even have a guitar in my hand. So, you can also create some presets out of this. So, as you can see, I've already got a couple saved here. Uh... And this is just me saving presets. 
Okay, so there's a lot of, you know, you've got very, several different variations on every drummer. These are instant drummers. You can, they are two ninety nine each. And if you buy them before December 1st, you get one free instant drummer for every instant drummer you buy. Just be smart when you're looking at the uh, what they have for sale right now. Don't choose any drummers by the ones that are for, that are the free options. Just choose the ones, all the ones that aren't from the, on the free options, and then you can start going through and picking out your. But look, look at all the ones I got. Trash Funk. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight drummers there. One, two, that's ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. I've probably got about eighty different drummers in here. Some of my favorites are all the drummer head ones. Anything that was played by O Travioso or Tony Mora. Create a riff or create a song. We got a new song, so we're gonna create a riff. So there it is. And if I were to record it, it would fill this up. Create a riff. And each one you can change a drummer on. And you plug your guitar in, you use your whatever your front end is to load into your USB. And it's gotta be an ASIO compliant. That means, which means it's actually got a better sound card inside that device. And what I can do now is I can mix it down to an MP3 or I can mix to uh, an AUG. So really what they recommend is use, mix it to an AUG and then send it out, or you can actually split it out into WAV files. Um, and that way you could back you could have done the AUG and send it up to Riff, you know, Riffcast it right to Riffworks with the AUG. It would have done it directly. But as you can see, you will learn a lot. I'll open this and this will be the, it. But you're going to see why this is an amazing thing. And I would buy this and I would buy as many instant drummers as you can right now. They've got hundreds, and, and well, at least a couple hundred drummers. And I have bought them uh, just with what you see here. Uh, yeah, I had what, 60 or 70 drummers? Okay, so if I go to this one and. So you have a built-in soloing function. So if you're t using this as a teaching tool, you can actually play this, go and mute it out, and just okay, solo over this. Like this one. So you can play this one live. Okay, so I think you can see there's a lot you can do with Riffworks. I really recommend this. This is this is essential software in my opinion. Get a guitar port or a line, some kind of Line Six input. Uh, Sonoma Wireworks, who makes Riffworks, um, they have they actually have a front end for the guitar you can buy, so you can input your guitar right through your USB port, and it's amazing. So. Uh, give this a try. This is really amazing stuff. You will really love it. Um, I cannot recommend this too highly. All right. Well, thanks for sticking along. Thanks for watching the demo of this. Remember, like, subscribe, comment. If you're a musical instrument manufacturer and you want me to uh, demo your guitars, uh, by the way, I'm not being paid for Riffworks because of this. Uh, Riffworks to me is just, it's an essential part of my musical abilities. And I, I want to see this company they, they were very 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 popular uh, about seven years ago and I just want to make sure that they have a long 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 career and that you know people continue to use this outstanding piece of software to better your guitar playing to better I mean just be able to sit down and record a song and to be able to harmonize along with it you'll begin learning a lot about rhythm and this was what separates basically the men from the boys is the ability to be able to take a song and begin to improvise against it learn how to where to leave silence learn where to leave where to put music how to harmonize against yourself it, it, you'll learn a lot so this is in my opinion this is crucial software you need this so uh, riff works again they're not paying me for this I just want to see them popular again all right so thanks for watching and uh, be sure to come back next time and see the next video. Thanks.